TeachAnOldDogNewTricks.com. More than 40 hours of free computer training, videos, and tutorials. Are you an old dog? Simply visit TeachAnOldDogNewTricks.com and learn some new tricks for free. Thank you. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tony Holowitz, and I want to thank you for being here in our Microsoft Word Tips. Today's tip is going to be about auto text. Auto text is a feature that I think if you know about Microsoft Word, it can be really excellent to use. And let me illustrate what the auto text is. First, to show you some of the things that are part of auto text, I'm going to go up on the toolbar and I'm going to click on insert. I'm going to go down to where it says um, auto text, then back to auto text a second time. When I do that, over here on the left hand side, I have a number of items that are in here. This is called auto text. And what these are, are things that it believes, or word believes, we're going to commonly type. So for example, if I were to type in ladies and gentlemen, what would happen is a little yellow box would pop up that would show me ladies and gentlemen. And all I have to do is hit enter to do that. My name is actually an auto text, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an example of this using my name. So I'm going to click cancel here, and I'm just going to come down below my name, I'm going to hit the enter, and I'm going to start typing in Tony. And when I go on to the next letter, which is the letter H, this little yellow box pops up because my name is in there as an auto text entry. So if I do indeed want to type in my full name, yeah, I can continue to type it, or I can just hit enter on the keyboard and it fills it in for me. So think about this for a minute. Let's say that you had something that you're typing all the time. Maybe it's a company name, your boss's name, whatever it might be. Well, you can add that to the auto text, and let me show you how to do that. Let's say, for example, we wanted to type in, Mary had a little lamb common poem and we felt that we use that all the time so instead of having to type it over and over again we want to type it into auto text well what I did is I typed it out I've selected it or highlighted it and now again I'm gonna go up to click on insert I'm gonna to go to auto text and over to auto text again because I had selected this with my mouse you'll see it put it right in up here I'm gonna click on add and then I've added that. So now, if I go to start typing Mary, you'll start noticing that the little yellow box popped up for Mary had a little lamb. If I hit enter, it puts in that statement. So you can add things to auto text that you type all the time. And there's a lot of things in there already. For example, as I'd shown you before, ladies and gentlemen, and the little box, the yellow box comes up. So if you have things you type over and over and over again, add them into auto text. It's very easy to do, and you'll find that in the long run, it saves you a lot of time and energy. My name is Tony Holowitz, and I want to thank you very much for being a part of this tutorial. Have a great day.